Hello there, my YouTube friends, and my fellow nerds and nerdettes. I got myself a little unboxing to do, and I can't wait to get this one open, guys. This is literally just arrived today. Um, I got this again, another one from a Facebook group that I joined called Planet Action Figures. This was put on by an Aaron Russell. I think he's actually, I think they were in a shop, to be perfectly honest with you, but I couldn't be 100% certain. Um, and they were great enough to walk us through the process of how to get this from them, because I've obviously never done much of this in the way of this before. But here we go, guys. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide? No escape from reality. Now for most of you, this one might not be such a big deal, but for me, it's going to be a fairly good one to have, because obviously I already have one of the characters, and I'm looking forward to putting this one alongside of the other character, just to make me own sort of little, almost like a diorama type thing, I suppose you'd call it. So, let's be careful when I open this thing, let's see how well we have packaged it. They should have packaged it really well, you can see it, I mean, yeah. That sort of well into the action figures and what have you themselves. We'll go and put the fifth piece of paper up and we'll wait to see what we've got. Well packed with bubble wrap all the way around this. So that's good. Even the box itself is coming bubble wrap as well. Yeah, so we'll get rid of that part of the box. We'll need that bit now. Let's get this thing open. Yeah. Well, seems to be well sealed. Nicely covered in bubble wrap. Oh, wow, well, it's got its own little diorama scheme with it. That looks good as well. It's one little base. But we're not going to show you this bit just yet because the first thing we need to do will be to show you this. And you won't be able to see the face too well, and you probably won't even be able to tell who it is. But there you go, that's the first bit of it. Team BD product, series number 4. One six scale teenage body, 2.0. Right, there's the back of it. Like I say, you probably can't see the head sculpt or anything on there, but I will get out in a second and show you. This, possibly if you can see, it depends on how much glare you get, might be able to give it away a little bit more as to who it is. And obviously the back of the box will definitely give it away for those that are in the know. There's an arm in there, you make some like things. See, it's on the front of the box as well. The Laura set. Oh, that bit could be the bit that could possibly give it away, if anything. Yeah. She goes along with Logan. It's the little girl from Logan. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to unbox this, put the head sculpt on, put the clothes on, and what have you, and show you what she looks like fully dressed up, and see what you think of her, guys. So just bear with me. There you go, guys. There she is. Dressed up. It's obviously not going to be a final pose. I've got to have a look and see which one will be the best one to do for her. But I just want to show you her dressed with her claws out, her boots on. Yeah, she's a pretty good little thingy, pretty good little likeness for her as well. If you, there you go. I think that's a pretty damn good likeness. some good articulation to the body which I'll go through in a moment just wanted to show you first and show you what you came with so oh I just fell over dead it so what you came with was a sunnies which is well cool you can put a suppose with a sunnies on she came with this stand thing, well it's not actually a stand, it's actually for this piece to go into which goes in there to show off Logan's sort of where he was buried type thing, so that's pretty good you also got a stand to put her on which is good as she can stand up by herself by the looks of it we have a bunch of hands which actually came not so much with her because the hands that came with her was actually the 
Anyone? Put these bunch of hands in the, the feet itself. And I'll just put all onto here so you can see them. All came with the actual sort of doll, if you want to call it that, the action figure itself. So you come with a normal, normal style hands. You know, one for sort of gripping a gun. Another one that's a grip style ones. Open hands. And so you can put these ones on her as well and have it with an open hand, I suppose. But who would want to do that? And the feet, what came on her to start with, which I took off to put her things on. Now, we'll see, for me, being new to all this stuff, and I've never really had to sort of do much in the way of fitting things together. Um, it was, I found it difficult at first to get like, the head on. And what have you had took a lot of force to force the head onto the actual neck. So, no, she's not going to stand. There's two seconds. Wait, I see if I can. Oh, is she going to stand? Is she going to stand? Yes, she is going to stand. Right, so the head, getting the head on it first, I found quite difficult. It took quite a bit of force. And obviously, with me being a, 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 I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I'm a big sort of guy, you know, and I've got a, a lot of muscle in it. I don't know my own strength at times. I got a bit worried about how much pressure I put on so I didn't break it. The hands popped off and on easy enough. That was that was really good. The feet itself the feet itself, these ones came on at the start with the whole peg came out in the feet and then I had to try and really remove the peg from the feet which was difficult to put a peg back into the body again so that I could put those boots on her. Um, but once I got that bit done uh, it's champion, you know, getting the clothes on. I try to get the clothes set up just so that they look decent. I think it's uh, something I'm sort of going to take a bit of time to get used to. But also I've got a lot of respect for those that do it on a regular basis and, and have it down pat now and make the clothes look really well. You know, they must spend hours doing it. But there she is, guys. And I'm going to literally put her next to Wolverine. Pose her up just a little bit and show you the final thing, guys. But I'm, I'm well happy with that, you know. And that, that was like... 100 quid all told to get the whole lot which for those of you that in the know will know that's a pretty damn good price you know and that's a really good price when you consider likes of hot toys and that are like nigh on 200 pound plus for a lot of their stuff so this one i don't know if you class it like a kit bash thing that they put together but i'm well happy 100 quid for it i'm well happy so let's see what the final thing looks like and i put out with logan old man logan so one of the questions you might be asking yourself is, after buying that figure, which you can see in the background up there, is would I be buying again? Without a shadow of a doubt, yes, I will be buying again from Aaron um, and from his group. Great figure, I'm well happy with it. Yeah, Good enough prices on them. Let's see what he does with his other ones when he uploads those ones and see what they've come back to the price on them. At the minute, the only reason I'm not buying anything else that he's got in already, because he's got a few in that I would like to get, um, is basically because we've literally just paid to go to Disneyland Paris for the first ever time we're going to be going to what I classify as abroad um, for the family the family holiday abroad for the first time ever. So that's the reason why I'm not buying anything more just now. Um, but I will be buying from Aaron again, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, so... I've just got to wait till I get back from my holiday and see what I've got left after I've been on holiday. Because the holiday has to take priority, I'm afraid. So, uh, anyway, guys, that's my thing on it. We'll finish off by showing you the two of them together. And then that'll be the end of the video. So there you go, guys. I'm well happy with what I've got. And I'm well looking forward now to going away as well from the first time ever with the family. I am well looking forward to that, guys. So... Catch you soon. I'll show you to pair them together. So here we go, guys. This is a pair of them together. I actually had to bring them outside to get more natural light on them because the obviously light in my house is terrible. As you've probably seen in some of my previous videos, and it just wasn't looking good at all. Oh, and of course, he's fell over us for two minutes. So there you go. That's what they look like together. And I think they look on my eyes, and it's still probably not the best light. Yeah, but it certainly looks a little bit more of it natural thingy so great a pair of them locked together they'll not be the la last pose I'll put them in it'll probably be something different and I can't wait to get them when I eventually get me um, get a helicopter coming past to them and again you always trust it whenever you try and make a video 
something a bit nice. But I think they look mint. I really do. I think they look superb together. And like I say, when I eventually get my little man cave up, there'll hopefully be a lot more light coming, and I'll have a better way of displaying them. But I just do think these two look absolutely stunning together. So thanks very much for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. Please, if you've enjoyed this one, like, comment, let us know if you want to see some more of these type of things. I've got a few other figures that I could review and show for you. And I will catch you in the next one guys. This is the Bearded Nerd Youth, and I'm out. Bad Wolf! The Big Bad Wolf!